Hey, good morning, guys. It's a beautiful morning out here again today. <clears throat> Coffee's done. It's getting, uh, well, it's probably about 8, eight o'clock in the morning here. I've been waiting on the video to load up so I could, uh, for today. This is Friday. <laughs> what a wonderful day it's been. Uh, yesterday, uh, company come down and visited with us, which, man, that's pretty neat to have company come. Uh, man, it's just pretty awesome. But, Kevin and Rochelle come down, flew in from Washington, and, uh, come in and stay with us for a little bit. Nothing like having <laughs> a fellowship with believers. Man, it's just, it's just awesome. And to have have the tie of, of love between us because of what Christ has done for us and the salvation of all mankind is through the cross and oh you know, it's just it's just incredible and so <clears throat> I want to look up here and and uh, see what we got here in, in scriptures today I've got Ephesians 3 verse 11 and verse 12 uh, either, neither one of them have a lot in them so I want to get them both covered in, in one video and uh, see how this comes out that's just pretty awesome in Ephesians 3.11 we have, we have these truths that we find through Paul's letters that is for us today the risen Christ revealed these things to Paul and you know he's, all of scripture is inspired by God so every one of these words that Paul wrote was inspired in the original language. And uh, it's incredible when you realize that Paul had a message for us that Peter didn't have. You know, Peter's evangel was for the circumcision, and but Paul's is for the Gentiles, the nations. And uh, it's in accord with the purpose of the eons, which he makes in Christ Jesus our Lord that's what Ephesians 3 11 says and these references under it I'll put under the video for these these two but these are the references for 3 11 according as he chooses us in him before the disruption of the world we to be holy and flawless in his sight in love designating us beforehand for the place of his son for him through Christ Jesus in accord with the delight of his will and for the law of the glory of his grace <laughs> which he which graces us in the beloved in whom we are having the deliverance through his blood the forgiveness of offenses in accord with the riches of his grace which he lavishes on us in all wisdom and prudence making known to us the secret of his will in accord with the delight which he purposed in him to have an administration of the complement of the errors to head up all in the Christ both that in the heavens and that on the earth in him in whom our lot was cast also being designated beforehand according to the purpose of the one who is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will you know, that's a, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of God in that one right there. The, all that, His grace, He lavishes on us. It's His will, in accord with the light of His will, for the glory of His grace. It's just all God. There's none of us have the ability to change what God has given us. We have salvation through Christ, the finished work on the cross. These references continue in Romans 8, 28 through 30 says, Now we are aware that God is working all together for the good of those who are loving God, who are called according to the purpose that whom he foreknew, he designates beforehand. Also, to be conformed to the image of his Son, for him to be firstborn among many brethren. Now whom he, he, now whom he designates beforehand, these he calls also. And whom he calls these he justifies also. 
Now whom he justifies, these he glorifies also. For not as yet being born, nor putting into practice anything good or bad, that the purpose of God may be remaining as a choice, not out of acts, but of him who is calling. You may not be ashamed, then, of the testimony of our Lord, nor yet of me, his prisoner, but suffer evil with the evangel in accord with the power of God, who saves us and calls us with a holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with his own purpose and the grace which is given to us in Christ Jesus before times eonian. Yet now is being manifested through the advent of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who indeed abolishes death, yet illuminates life and incorruption through the evangel, of which I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher of the nations. For which cause I am suffering these things also, but I am not ashamed, for I am aware whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to guard what is committed to me for, for that day. <laughs> Those are references to verse 11. And verse 12 only has uh, one reference to it. So verse 12 says, In whom we have boldness and excess with confidence through his faith. <laughs> See, it's all Christ. It's all God. It's all it's his faith. For he is our peace, who makes both one and rises the central wall of the barrier, the enmity in his flesh, nullifying the law of precepts in degrees, that he should be creating the two in himself into one new humanity, making peace, and should be reconciling both in one body to God through the cross, killing the enmity in it. And coming, he brings the evangel of peace to you, those afar, and peace to those near. For him, for through him we both have had access in one spirit to the Father. Wow, you know, we can't add to Scripture. And that is the references to Ephesians 3, verse 11, and verse 12. So we'll put that down at the bottom of the video, down there, and you can see the order in which I read them. And, uh, oh, it's going to be a... It's, to understand these truths is a miracle in our lives. The same miracle as it takes for those that's locked in stubbornness to be continued to be locked in stubbornness. So thankful am I that God has given us the realization of this truth. It's all of God. All of it is God. We can't come to this belief on ourselves. God's the one that gives a measure of faith for belief. So it's all on God. Anyway, it's time to get out and get the day started. Time to get another cup of coffee. It's beautiful out here. I love what God's done with the place. <laughs> Grace and peace to you guys. We love you and, and appreciate each one of you watching and hanging out with us. Grace and peace. We'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow.